20 hilarious cars that actually exist. What in the world would we do without cars? They get us where we need to go every single day. They can impress people with their luxury features and brand names. And yes, they can give people a good giggle from time to time. Here are 20 hilarious cars for when you need to rev up the laughter in your day. Number 20. Hamburger Hog This motorcycle looks good enough to eat because it's a humongous hamburger. When this guy took his motorcycle to the body specialist, he may have said something like, I'll take a number one with cheese, lettuce, pickles, and onions. Did you notice the onion hubcaps? This looks like something out of a fast food wonderland. There's no word on as to why he's wearing that Viking cap, but it's pretty evident this guy doesn't play by the rules. Do hamburger motorcycles have different speed limits than the rest of us? Word on the street is that not enough beef will slow you down. Simply delicious. Number 19. Scoot This Boot The little old woman lived in a shoe and a little old man spent way too much money turning this car into an actual boot for a giant. Do you think Paul Bunyan would approve of this large duck hunting car? This car is apparently called the Bootmobile and it's only a little less cool than the Batmobile. In actuality, this automobile was created by sportswear company L.L. Bean in order to commemorate their 100-year anniversary. The company was founded in Maine in 1912 and continues to thrive. Now that's pretty impressive. Number 18. Avocado Road It's common sense, but you should never eat an avocado that is this green and ripe. But it does make for a pretty awesome outer coat for a car. This wins our cutest yet funniest car award on the list for the day. It has eyes, a nose, and a go-getter spirit. If this car were to get in a wreck, the only positive thing is that there would be mounds and mounds of guacamole all over the road. It may only be big enough for one passenger, but who needs a buddy when you have the love of avocados instilled so deeply in your soul? Number 17. Give me a kiss. Who's your favorite band, Kiss or The Beatles? What about a beetle bug with a member of Kiss on it? This car makes us want to rock and roll all night and party every day. Sources say the tongue on this Kiss car is the actual size of Gene Simmons. Just kidding, but it might as well be. That guy's tongue is massive. Three cheers for this car that has tongue and torque. Number 16 endorsement deal. This little car is tiny but mighty, and by mighty we mean a moving advertisement for Google and Apple. Green Granny Smith apples are too bitter for our liking, and we think it would look better in red. But we heard car insurance is higher for cars with a red paint job. Number 15. Blazing Down the Road this car looks like it rolled right off a movie set at Universal Studios. Many people can't say they've been carried somewhere by a giant orange mouth. We're hoping this car goes fast enough that the people inside it will be making the very same face. But without any type of shield in the front, it's a little nerve-wracking. Number 14. Star Wheels. It's no secret that Star Wars fans are the most devoted and loyal fans of any film franchise. They spend thousands on paraphernalia and some even go to Star Wars conventions. At the convention, normal guys with names like Philip and Gary can dress in real life stormtrooper gear from head to toe, but this car takes things to a whole new level. They probably had to travel pretty far away from the Death Star to find an auto body parts shop that could specially craft this vehicle. Number 13. Call the Coops. The policemen on this mission were probably trying to use code language on this one by saying the chicken is in the coop. I repeat, the chicken is in the coop. His partner then said, okay, got it, but what's the coop? No, really, this police car has actually been made into a real life chicken coop for real life chickens. No word on why the design of the law enforcement vehicle was chosen to house chickens, but it's still funny. Unless this chicken suddenly decided he wanted to become a policeman and take the liberty to redesign the car that the station gave him. Number 12. Ice Road Truckin' Due to their frozen solid winter weather, it's no wonder that Canadians have to get pretty inventive with their use of ice. But we could never have imagined it would be turned into a moving pickup truck. This ice truck used 11,000 pounds of ice and was used by Canadian Tire to demonstrate how well the car's battery held up in icy conditions. Obviously, very well. The truck actually was able to move, even though it melted soon after over a period of 40 hours. Number 11. Horse-powered engine. Okay, so technically this isn't a car. Rather, it's a shell of a car with an actual human inside of it, powered by a bull. Dare we ask what the point is in having one half of a vehicle on this device? What's so wrong with a traditional horse-drawn carriage? One thing is for sure, they'll never have to worry about getting a traffic ticket for speeding with this car. Unless there are any bullfighters with red capes around to taunt the driver. Number 10. Longest Limo. The longest limousine ever created. For once, we can wholly assure you that this extra-long limo is not photoshopped. 
We're confident in that because this Whopper was built in the 1980s by famed car creator Jay Orberg. Who's Jay Orberg, you may ask? Is it that guy in the distant background of photo number one? He's the mastermind behind other famous cars like the DeLorean in Back to the Future and the Ford Gran Torino from Starsky and Hutch. The world's longest limo clocked in at 100 feet with 26 wheels, a helipad, and a jacuzzi. All of these features seem more than practical, you know, for when you need to land your helicopter on your 100-foot limo. As expected, the limo was altogether too difficult to drive and went on to die a slow limo death. Just another one of those sad fame and fortune can ruin you type tales. Number 9. Wiry Ride This tiny bug looks like Cinderella's chariot, sans the romantic fairy tale, and mice turned into white horses. It also lacks a little safety and practicality. The wiry body is incredibly unique and awesome to look at, no doubt, but you can only take it out for a spin under perfect weather conditions. If it rains, say goodbye to the interior's perfect upholstery or any of your personal items inside, and if it's too hot, the air conditioning would just fly right out the back. But it would look pretty awesome with lights strung through the wires for Christmas holidays. Number 8. Get schooled. The wheels on the bus go upside down? We want to say that this twist on a traditional yellow school bus is some type of artistic statement, but that really doesn't seem to be the case. However, it is apparently a political statement made by the talented Brit Steve Braithwaite and his business partner Tom Brown. These names aren't familiar, but the name of the man who thought of the concept for the bus might be Ben Cohen of the Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream Dynasty. It took six months of hard work and welding in order to fuse the two school buses together. But why upside down? They say the bus is meant to protest government spending, which seems to be so corrupt that it's upside down. Indeed, the government spending in the educational sector definitely needs some brushing up, and we commend this bus, but it might cause more car wrecks from confused drivers double-taking rather than actually producing change. Congrats to Ben Cohen and company for schooling us on conceptual buses. Who knew the ice cream genius was also a political activist? Number 7. Green Thing This go-green car might just run on ethanol, water, air, or good vibes alone. Instead of taking this moving garden to the auto shop for an oil change, they just water and re it instead. This is already a smart car, so the grass added to it really makes us think, okay, we get it, you love the environment, geez. Number 6. It's both, you guys. We are just as impressed as you are about this one. For the man who is forced to work a 9 to 5 job but longs to be a sailor on the high seas, there's this weird Cadillac yacht thing. This car is apparently called a land yacht, and yeah, it's pretty rad. Passengers can't get inside, it seems, but we're sure they're happy to ride on top, sipping champagne and enjoying the land life. It makes the phrase, do you want to get in my yacht, seem a little less impressive, though, don't you think? Number 5. Let's get towed. Getting your car towed is a total drag, unless this guy shows up. It almost makes us want to park our car in front of a fire hydrant, just so we can see it in all of its glory. As always, any type of object that makes the public learn the spelling between two words that sound the exact same is always a much welcome surprise in our book. There's no telling how much it costs to build this tow truck, but pedicures for it start at at least $300. Number 4. Truckin' Turtle If it weren't for the headlights and wheels, we'd assume this was a real-life turtle. Luckily, it doesn't move at the same pace that a turtle would. This car requires a special insurance plan for turtle head recovery in case of rear-end collisions. Number 3. Weenie Mobile Oh, how I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener has always been an original and well-known phrase. Their outlandish weenie mobile has been beloved by America for years. You see it in Thanksgiving parades, in commercials, and promotional events. There's actually not just one famous weenie mobile, however. There are many different versions of it that roam the streets promoting and advertising Oscar Mayer pork products. The original version was created in 1936, and it could just be the first crazy car to inspire all the others on this list. Number 2. Swimming down the street. Nothing says summertime quite like cruising around in a convertible with the top down, or going to the nearest swimming pool with some buddies. But how can you choose? This picture proves that you can do both because why the heck not? We hope that they had some luck picking up bikini babes in this cool, we mean pool, car, or else they went through a whole mess of trouble for no reason. How'd they get the water in there without hurting the interior? There are just so many questions here. 10 points for creativity, but zero points for practicality. We are speeding right along through this list at at least 60 miles per hour. That's right in the speed limit, folks. Don't forget it. Before we get to number one, here are just a few comments from today. Number one. Cat car. 
How neat is this Cheshire Cat car? There's no word on whether or not it was modeled after the famous Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, but it definitely evokes fantasy and imagination. We've heard, though, that the only CD that plays inside of this car is the single of Tom Jones' What's New Pussycat. 